Supreme Court said pending court cases cannot prevent a winner from assuming office. Ahamba. Nigerians, as May 29 approaches, there have been some arguments suggesting that Bola Tinubu should not take the oath of office as president until all court cases challenging his victory in the presidential election are resolved. However, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Mike Ahamba, has stated that this issue has already been addressed by the Supreme Court in a 2003 case involving Muhammad Buhari and Olushe Gu Obar Senjo. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospects Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, there has been some arguments suggesting that Bola Ahmed Tinubu should not take the oath of office as president until all, all court cases challenging his victory in the presidential election are resolved. However, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Mike Ahamba, has stated that this issue has already been addressed by the Supreme Court in a 2003 case involving Muhammad Buhari and Olishegu Obasanjo. Ahamba was part of the legal team that represented Buhari in his case against Obasanjo's victory in 2003 presidential election. He explained that the Appeals Court ruled that, according to the law, if an elected candidate's election is being challenged in court, the candidate shall be sworn in and remain in office until the court determines the case and makes a final decision. And this is where Nigerians are arguing. You understand? Ahamba shared his reconnection of the case during an interview with AIT, and he said, I raised this issue in the Buari versus Obasanjo's case in 2003. I said, if you have a serious case, against somebody. He should not be sworn in until he defends himself. But the Supreme Court told me that the law, the law says the person declared remains in office. It was justice. Justice Bigori, the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, who wrote the, the lead judgment in that case. He said the person declared remains in office and he was right. So all these things people were talking about because of some private interest cannot change the provisions of the Electoral Act, which says the person declared remains in office. The person declared for a house remains in the house. So what you can do is to expedite the hearing. That is the only way out, he said. Hmm. Nigerians, you see the problem INEC have created, you know, for Nigerians. Nigeria can never be one, even though we know that we have never, we have never been one before. But we were all pretending. But with what happened during the presidential election, it's going to take a decade to amend this issue. You understand? It's going to take a long time because the next generation to come we still talk about this flawed ele election, even when they are not seeing it. The team that will be handling the tribunal are Himanzu. As we understand, once you are in the position of authority in Nigeria, you become so powerful. Even God will become a small child where the person is. There will be no respect for anybody. We are afraid that if this man is sworn in on May 29, the decision of the tribunal will be influenced. This system is fraudulent on its own. Why can't we do things and be happy that what we have done is right? Do we continue living in lies? If the case is related to office in this spot, then that judgment was flawed, was flooded and biased. 
We are now suffering from rigged judgment from Supreme Court of Nigeria. Hmm, na lie. Supreme Court want to play their own game. The Supreme Court should do justice before May 29. Another shallow-minded being on the loose again, always difficult to convince. Tinubu did not have 25% vote from FCT. This case was also settled in 2003 in the Buari versus Obasanjo's case. So why swearing in a man who did not receive 25% of vote in Abuja? Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hmm. This is not going to be easy for Nigerians. My learned lawyer, why is this case being delayed in two months? Not enough, to, is two months not enough to hear this case and done with it? For me, I can see some hidden agenda for the delay. Our judiciary should be careful not to mess with Nigerian masses. Expedite hearing is truly what should be taken in consideration. And who should do that? Who should expedite hearing if not the same people who have used their pocket to buy our over the legal system, which makes Nigeria animal kingdom, a country where the judiciary system is dependent to a ruling party controlled by those who want the the, the status the status quo to remain how on earth would anyone think such country could succeed? You called yourself a senior advocate, but you are not. All because you have spirit of foolishness in you. Anyone that knows what is good and refuses not to do it, it is a big fool. Nonsense country. These are reactions from Nigerians. You can see the anger in their voices because they were not pleased with the outcome of the results. Like what I always say, if INEC actually did the needful, we should not be talking about all these things. It does not take you to do the right thing. It, does, it takes you nothing to do the right thing. But it takes you years to repair that you have done wrong. But why can't we do the right thing? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you for this coming out here.